VO3, that's the talk of the internet right now. Uh, I've seen some really cool videos on social media, I'm sure you have as well, of that Bigfoot drinking the energy drink and, um, you know, a really cool video and it looks really realistic. But I think all credit goes to whoever wrote the prompts and the scripts. Uh, but that begs the question for me when I've been seeing all this VO3 stuff is uh, what about DJ stuff? And I thought, well, can VO3 DJ? And I don't mean just mixing tracks. I mean like actual DJ, like a big part of my day job that I really like is coming up with um, either short little DJ routines or finding dope DJs that can really DJ and do awesome routines, which are, include scratching, juggling, things like that. And uh, I wanted to see what VO3 could do. So I signed up for a free trial. You can do that. I did it through my Google account. I did it like a 30 day free, I can't remember why they call it, but it's like an AI trial. And with that, you get so many VO3 credits. And so I uh, jumped right in and I wanted to share the results because I think it's really interesting because I think it speaks to the culture of DJing as is portrayed by the internet, um, which is somewhat concerning <laughs> as you'll see. Uh, and it's kind of funny. I think we're really where it excels is the um, physics of human motion and uh, speech and things like that. And these fake people look really real, which is also concerning. But I think really in the grand scheme of things, they don't understand our language yet. So uh, let's just watch some of these videos, have a good laugh together. Uh, and uh, I'll show you my, uh, I'll give you my thoughts at the end and uh, give me your thoughts as well. All right, so first up, the first prompt I used, I said, uh, DJ using two techniques, 1200 turntables and a Rain 70 8-track mixer, doing a fast chirp scratch over a boom bap style beat. I think that's pretty specific. Um, I was curious how I was gonna react to the brand callouts, techniques and Rain 70 8-track. So uh, here's what I came up with. Now, I spit out, I used the option of two variants per prompt. So I put these prompts in and I uh, got two variants. So I'll, I'll show them both. All right, first up. <laughs> all right, so first of all, a lot of touching things. Like, <laughs> this is like, everything's super hot. Uh, again, this is what the internet thinks uh, we do as DJs. So <laughs> keep watching this one. He's tap, you know, tapping the record, tapping the tone arm that's not on the platter. And then just tap, tapping, uh, tapping and touching knobs. It's a lot of tapping things. All right, now here's the second. Uh, here's the second result from this uh, prompt. Okay. <laughs> All right, a few things to note on this one. Uh, I love the CDJ style platters with the uh, the tone arms. <laughs> and uh, not on the record because there is no record. They're just uh, tone arms on the, the platters. And this is a Techniques mixer in this example, which is interesting. And then again, it's just the human aspect looks great, but there's just a lot of like touching things and moving hands over things. Turning knobs and, and bouncing around, okay? So that's, that's what the internet thinks we do as DJs. All right, then I was like, okay, well, that didn't work. Let's do another prompt. I'm curious what it was going to do for this one. So I said DJ doing a complex beat juggle using two techniques, 1200 turntables and a two channel DJ mixer, classic hip hop style music. And so I kept the techniques in there, but then I made it a little more generic. And so this is uh, what VO3 thinks we do when we beat juggle. So obviously, uh, no juggling, a lot of dancing. And then you can see like, he's got some stuff flying out of his hands every now and then. Right there and over here, something flies in the other hand. So just touching knobs, touching the platter, that's beat juggling. And here's the second beat juggling example. <laughs> so again, the human physics are great. I mean, look at that. But DJing, not quite getting it. Again, we got some CDJ style platters on some turntables. Records on them this time, but the needles aren't there. 
And uh, that's what the internet thinks scratching sounds like too, which is wild. All right, so then I noticed that, okay, they don't really know what DJing is, but uh, let's do a prompt where it's very descriptive and very specific and focusing more on the human interaction because I'm like, maybe this will work well for some like B-roll type footage. So I get really specific with this prompt. I said 75 year old DJ inviting a group of 18 year old club kids to his all vinyl DJ gig where he will be spinning only big band music mixed with <laughs> I'm a piano music. It's in a warehouse in a dangerous area of downtown, but he is encouraging them that it's completely safe if they come before sunset and leave after sunrise. The 18 year olds are hesitant at first, but then he assures them that they will have plenty of opportunities to make social media content there. So I thought, hey, that's a plenty to go on. And I, I should know better because these clips are limited to eight seconds. Uh, but here's example number one of the 75 year old DJ. It's completely safe if you come before sunset and leave after sunrise, plus plenty of opportunities to make social media content there. <laughs> it's completely safe if you come before sunset and leave after sunrise, plus plenty of opportunities to make social media content there. So they didn't even try. I don't know why they didn't even match up his um, <laughs> voice with his, with his mouth. But uh, I mean, look at these, look at these fake people. They look incredible, <laughs> but it's AI. So it doesn't have all the information. So it doesn't, first of all, it didn't include, you know, 75% of my prompt, but then weird little things at the end, he had some time. And instead of like talking more about my prompt, they all do this like excited, like fist thing together, like at the end. <laughs> it's completely oh, wait, safe if dancing. you come before sunset know. and leave after sunrise plus plenty of opportunities to make social media content there. <laughs> it's that All right, so that was number one. And number two, now it actually did a really good job with the, uh, the actual main character on this one with the voice lining up. Plenty of opportunities to make social media content there. <laughs> plenty of opportunities. Now, that's really good, Uncanny. And, the DJ setup is looking a little more accurate. There's a tone arm there, uh, but it's looking like kind of almost like a, you know, CDJ's type setup. But he is pretty smooth with his uh, cell phone appearing out of nowhere. He's to make social media content and there. Let's turn around watch this. Bam, oh, cell phone right here. Check it out. And then everybody looks at it. To make social media content there. And then the horrible scratching. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, as far as it's scary how good the, the people are um, or can be. All right. And then I thought, hey, I'm just being too complicated. Let's just put DJ scratching using crossfader. And like, very simple. What do you think this is? Uh, VO3 AI. And here's uh, DJ scratching using crossfader. Again, the scratching is is just gibberish. But man, look at look at this uh, the physics of this DJ and the controllers act or the um, decks actually look pretty legit for the most part. But there's a spindle <laughs> spindle on the middle of that CDJ platter. Yeah. So yeah, interesting. And here's uh, number two of that uh, DJ scratching using controller prompt. I'm sorry, DJ scratching using crossfader prompt. What's interesting with this one, it's obvious that it's garbage. I mean, there's uh, a uh, ne needle on, you know, the tone armor is in the right spot. And this, you know, the platters are different around the edges. But what's interesting is that like, it's trying to, his right hand, if it was on the crossfader and his left hand wasn't on a knob and it was actually on the deck, the AI almost is almost there because his uh, right hand mimics the sound and the crossfader movements a little bit. He's got a very springy thumb though, that's for sure. But again, the actual physics of the DJ moving and bobbing his head is unreal. And apparently we all wear black shirts. Oh, I was gonna say we all wear black shirts, but that's pretty much what I wear. I don't have this necklace though. So a lot of the examples have black shirts, Plenty of except for this 75 year old guy. Social it's completely safe if you come. Like another black shirt with the necklace, black shirt. 
No necklace. Oh. Black shirt necklace. Black shirt. Wow, that's AI yeah, nailed that one. Uh, black shirts are the norm. <laughs> Except if you're over 75. Plenty of opportunities to make social media contact. Yeah, these guys are old. It's completely school. safe if you come anyway. before sunset. All right, I gave you a little little uh, taste of my very last prompt because I ran out of credits. And this one was really interesting. I said, a wide shot of a DJ headlining a large music festival playing a banging tune. Then she then she plays the chicken dance and the crowd goes absolutely insane with energy. Just to see what it would do. And here's what I got. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. Now this was cool because the, the camera movements uh, and the, the DJ looks legit with their dancing and things like that. And it even kind of nailed the uh, stage setup. If you look at it, like the decking table here, even the decks are very, Let's go. they look very CDJ like, like more accurate than any of the other examples. Obviously you didn't know what the chicken dance was. And I think that's going to be a lot of copyright type stuff. Like, um, when I called out brand names of the DJ equipment, it didn't really know what to do other than put a logo or a text, not even a logo, just the text of my prompt. Whatever the brand name is, just threw that on there as text. But this one is looking legit. Some of the people are weird in the audience, like they're morphing and blobbing, but overall, like this is a good B-roll shot. Maybe a few more prompts to clean it up and it could uh, pass for a quick B-roll shot in some sort of video. So. Really crazy. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's my experience with VO3, seeing what it can do for DJing, uh, to replicate DJing. And um, for the most part, it's going off of what is available on the internet. And so that's like, has no problem with the dancing as a DJ, as uh, thinks we all wear black shirts, guilty as charged. It thinks we like to touch things a lot, touching platters, touching knobs. And, and for the most part, that's also true, but uh, it's really going off of what it sees and there's a lot of hot mixer knobs on social media and uh, I think it's definitely capitalizing on that. But I think it's really interesting just to see that it can't quite grasp what we do when we scratch or beat juggle. So where's it going to be in six months? Will it crack the code? I don't know. Or will DJing be the only true authenticated authentication when it comes to telling if content is real or AI? So maybe like elected officials will need to learn how to um, two-click flare so they can um, two-click flare in a video so people know it's not AI with them talking. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's our language. Maybe all this practice is actually going to be worth something one day when we have our own language that AI can't replicate. Who knows? At the end of the day, it's interesting. It's good for a laugh. A little concerning, but I mean, that's technology. We've been here before and really... It'll all come back to real people in the end. Like it's all about people and relationships and and uh, appreciating the God given talent certain DJs have that make you go, Oh shit, that's amazing. And I think that's really what it's all about. AI will never replicate that, uh, of seeing a fellow human doing something truly spectacular and a little bit of you thinks, Wow, that's amazing. And I'm inspired by that because they're a human just like me and they can do this amazing thing. And humans are capable of amazing things. And AI sucks at DJing. And that's all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed it. Go try it for yourself.